The focus for IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 has been performance and quality, so you should see a noticeable improvement in these areas. For example, in a reduced startup time, and in performance improvements for importing both Gradle and Maven projects. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 does come with some new features and improvements. Support for Java 13 was added in IntelliJ IDEA 2019.2, but 2019.3 has better support for text blocks. For example, we can specify that we want the text block opening and closing quotes to be automatically aligned. The editor will also warn us if we incorrectly place content on the line with the opening quotes. The start of the content of a text block should be on a line below. Text blocks are useful for defining strings that span multiple lines, of course, but they're especially useful for content that contains special characters like quotes that would normally have to be escaped. We can see what this string would have looked like before Java 13 if we use IntelliJ IDEA to turn it into a regular string literal. We can see all the quotes would have to be escaped and new line characters added, which IntelliJ IDEA automatically does for us when it does the conversion. It also preserves the significant white space. When IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 sees a new line character in a traditional string, it will suggest converting it to a text block if the project language level is set to 13 with preview features enabled. We can replace all of these examples of string values that span multiple lines with text blocks, and we should see that it makes certain types of string values easier to read, particularly those with special characters or significant white space. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 comes with a number of improvements that help us when working with Spring and Spring Boot projects. For example, it is aware of the new scanning behavior of configuration properties, and also supports the new configuration properties scan annotation. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 also supports on and off as Boolean values in the application.yaml. Whether we use these values or true or false depends on which we think are more readable. New to IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 is support for MongoDB databases. This is currently very basic support and is a work in progress, but key functionality is available. For example, in the database window, we can connect to a MongoDB database. If the correct driver files aren't available, we can download these in the data sources dialog, as with any of the database connections. If we have a MongoDB instance running, for example, here we have one running on localhost on the default port of 27017, we can connect to it. Once the connection is set up, we can see the MongoDB connection in the databases window. Let's run this Groovy script to create a new database, a new collection, and populate it with data. When a new database is available to view, the database window will reflect this. We can choose which databases we want to view. And we can expand a database in the window in order to see the collections. Double-clicking on the collection will show all its contents in a grid view. MongoDB is a document data store and we often see the contents in a JSON format. This IntelliJ IDEA view represents the data in a table with empty cells for values that don't exist in the document. Expanding the collection in the database window shows all the fields for the collection. If the field is a subdocument, this can be further expanded. We can also query the database from the console. This functionality is very basic at the moment and doesn't offer code completion, but we can type in MongoDB console commands and execute them to see the results. These results will be shown in the services window, again as a grid view. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 has quite a few changes and additions for working with version control systems. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 now has a new branch from selected action, which will create a new branch from the current branch, whether it's a remote or local branch. This new branch is not set to track a specific branch. So when we decide to push the branch, by default, it suggests a new remote branch with the same name, which can be changed if we like. The checkout action for remote branches has also been updated. 
it will either silently create a new local branch with this name if one doesn't already exist, or automatically check out and update the local branch if one does exist. The compare with current action has been split into two different actions to make it easier to use. Compare with current will show the difference in commits between the selected branch and the current branch, and as we'd expect we can see the details of the commit when we click on it. Clicking on the files tab shows the files that have changed between the selected branch and the current branch. Alternatively, if all we wanted to see was which files are different between our current branch and a selected branch, we can select Show Diff with Working Tree, and this will show all the files that have changed. IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3 has support for a whole new set of frameworks, many of which are designed for microservice architectures. As a quick example, for Micronaut, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate now lets you navigate to Beans, and to Factories, and to injection points. IntelliJ IDEA also lets us navigate between code that is listening for an event and the publisher of that event, and from the publisher to the listener. Code completion for properties from an application.properties file is also supported. Other frameworks including Quarkus, Helidon, Swagger are also supported, and there's additional support for technologies like Spring WebFlux and Java EE WebSockets. One last new feature for IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3. Now we can view the call hierarchy of a selected field using Control, Alt and H. We can navigate through this call hierarchy to see which calls in the code base ultimately lead to changes to this field value. That was a very quick tour of some of the most interesting new and updated functionality in IntelliJ IDEA 2019.3. The major changes to this version, however, were performance and quality, which you should be able to see for yourself when you use it. Thanks for watching.